Welcome to a breezy, rainy day in Leiden. We are in the Netherlands and Leiden is about halfway between Rotterdam and Amsterdam. This city is really well known for being the birthplace of Rembrandt, but we're here to explore its connection to the Mayflower and the Pilgrims. Let's go see what that's about. In addition to this building looking amazing, it was actually the original town wall. There's only two of these gates that are left out of the original eight, and it dates from 1669. mentioned that Rembrandt was born in this city. This is where he was born. Now the house no longer exists today, but it's commemorated by the plaque back on the wall. In 1606, he lived here, he was born here, and he lived here until 1630. So we're walking along the roads of one of the greatest painting masters of all time. So far, we're really impressed with Leiden. This town is so cute. The historic area is beautiful, and there aren't that many tourists here, and a lot of the buildings remind us of the ones that we've seen before in Amsterdam. They're so charming with their brick facades and their triangle roofs and I really like it here. This is a cute town. This is the oldest church in Leiden and it is over 900 years old. We mentioned that the pilgrims were really important here in Leiden. We're starting to learn out a little bit more about it. In the year 1609, a group of individuals left England because they wanted religious freedom. They ended up here in Leiden and they lived here until 1620. You might be sensing where this is going. One of their pastors was named John Robinson and he lived right here in the home behind me and the church that we're about to go into is right in front of me. So he was directly across from it. John Robinson was one of the two pastors who led this group of individuals that left England that ended up here in Leiden before they sailed to America. Let's go check out the church that they went to. This is so unique. I love all of the brick that's inside of this church. This church actually is technically a monument now. It's no longer used actively for worship, meaning we are able to pretty much go anywhere inside of it. It is really cool. And apparently there's an escape room game somewhere. <laughs> Although John Robinson was the pastor for those who left England and wanted to have the ability to practice religion the way they wanted to, he actually did not travel with the pilgrims to the United States and he passed away here in Leiden in the year 1625 and he's buried in this church. The memorial behind me notes the importance to the community that he had at the time. Apparently nine presidents in America can trace their ancestry back to pilgrims who sailed on the Mayflower, including both Presidents Bush and Barack Obama. Kind of cool. a really cool church. It was the biggest Dutch church we've ever been in, although it wasn't always this big. We should have mentioned, although the church is 900 years old, it was smaller and like churches do, it grew over time. At one point there was even a giant church tower that was part of it, but it collapsed and they rebuilt. Really neat, we'd recommend it. And entrance includes this incredibly thorough English guide if you do go in it um, and you pay for two people. So it was 10 euro and included this cool guidebook. Onward. Behind me is the original building of the Leiden University. The university was founded in 1575. There's a lot of smart people that have come through these walls. 
including Albert Einstein was a regular professor. Hard to believe. Among the many other amazing things that have come out of Leiden University, the EKG, a little thing that goes dip, dip, dip for your heart, and also they discovered superconductivity here. It's possible that this was all done in the building behind me, but these days it's a law school. This statue commemorates the exact spot that the Leiden pilgrims left from back in 1620. This is amazing because there were a little over 100 pilgrims that sailed over to America on the Mayflower and nearly half of them came from Leiden. They originally left on a ship called the Speedwell, but there were questions about its seaworthiness. So in England, they stopped and they changed over to the Mayflower. It's really neat that so many of the pilgrims came from this city that we're exploring today. I think it's really neat to be connected to this part of American history here in the Netherlands. so disappointed. There is a museum the likes of which we've never seen before here in Leiden. We were looking forward to going to it. It's open 1 to 5, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's Thursday afternoon and it's closed. This is an American Pilgrim Museum here in Leiden. Behind me is the Pilgrim Museum here in Leiden. We initially thought that it was closed, but it turns out all you have to do is knock. Thankfully, they overheard us filming outside the door and opened up the door, we were able to go in. This is a two room museum and one of the rooms is decorated as though it was 1620 still. Everything in the room is from 1620s, from the bed in the corner to a toilet that was inside because these rooms don't have a courtyard, so there's no outhouse. Really interesting to see the books and the kitchen, but it was all one room. It was sort of an early tiny home. Next door is the oldest house in all of Netherlands that dates back to the mid 1300s. <laughs> and we were able to see the inside of that and the floor tile was beautiful underneath it and it originally housed the pastor who worked in the church. So we got kind of worn out and decided it was time to take a break. Found this lovely bench. And Leiden is full of all kinds of little courtyards that you can visit. Some are private, but some are public. And this one's really nice. Behind us is the city hall, which apparently some of the pilgrims were married at before they came to America and that is how they knew what a civil marriage was, which evidently is a concept they introduced then to America. I had no idea that came from the Dutch. We haven't fact checked this or anything, but I'm sure it's true. The Dutch say it is so it must be, right? I think the back of the city hall is maybe even more impressive than the front. Wow. They labeled a selfie spot. Here's the selfie spot labeled. We are on top of the citadel, the fortress. Uh, this dates back to like the 1200s, maybe the 1100s, and I can see how it would be a great defense point back then since it sits on top of a hill and you probably would have been able to see for kilometers and kilometers. By the time the pilgrims lived here in the 1600s though, this was already private property and used as hunting ground and uh, was probably just a nice fun place to come, uh, but it was owned privately. 
and now we're able to go up in it again. So uh, there are great views from over the city up here and kind of a nice uh, indoor area. There were some kids playing here when we got here. Just kind of nice to have the views over the city. All to ourselves. Behind me is the weighing house of Leiden. Now this is where the pilgrims arrived to Leiden back in the early 1600s. The building back then was wooden, but this was still the exact location that they arrived in Leiden, which is really cool. The weighing house is really important to the city of Leiden because taxes. This here is a bicycle parking garage, and yes, that is red carpet. What more could you want? Can it be a proper Dutch city without a windmill? Interesting note. Back in 1574 on October 3rd, Peterskirk, the main church here in Leiden, began a tradition of giving food away in order to give thanks. And there are many who believe that pilgrims who left from Leiden, came to the New World in America, began the tradition of Thanksgiving based on what they learned here in Leiden. I never knew that that was possibly rooted in Dutch history, and I think that's fascinating. It's really neat to be able to travel somewhere like this and connect to it in a very different way. Leiden is a fantastic place to visit as a day trip from either Rotterdam or Amsterdam. We actually wish we had more time here. It was, it was great. And if you do come to Leiden, we'd recommend stopping by the TI and picking up this pilgrim route walking tour, which is exactly what we just took you on, <laughs> except it goes into much more detail about the pilgrim's connection to here in Leiden. If you enjoyed our version of the walking tour, hit the subscribe button below and the bell to be notified of our next video. Catch you next time. Oh, we are so bummed because the microphone is pointing down at my feet.